everybody, welcome to The Baldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be all about the books that Emily read during fifth grade. Now, I thought it would be fun to do something completely different this year, and we've never done it, so you'll have to let me know in the comments if you enjoy it. And Emily and I made just a big pile of all the books that she had read, and she put post-it notes on the back with a rating. So I'm actually going to be showing you the books that she read, or we read, because some of them were read-alouds, um, and then telling you her rating of them. Now, this is a collection of books that, like I said, she read, we read as read alouds, or they were book club books for her out school book clubs that she does. Um, so we have a lot of different genres and just choices here. I will tell you before I start showing the books that Emily definitely is a kid who prefers fantasy and anything with animals in it. So keep that in mind when you are looking at her ratings. Some of her ratings may not necessarily mean that it's not a great book. It may just mean that it wasn't her preference. Okay, now let's just get started. This is an absolutely no order. I'm just gonna show you the book and tell you her rating. Then at the end, I will tell you the ones that she put a star next to, which were her top three that she suggests everybody reads. All right, first we have Restart. She rated this one a 7.5. This was one of her book club books. We have Adventures with Waffles. This was a book we read aloud. This was a 7.5 for her as well. I'll be honest, I thought it was closer to a nine. I really liked this book. It was hilarious. What she didn't like about it is there is um, a couple of sad parts. Uh, a character passes away, and then there's another part where a character um, moves, and so there's there's a couple of sad parts, and she doesn't like sad things. Uh, let's see, Orphan 11. This was a book club book, and it was rated a nine from her. We have... The Great Horn Spoon. This was another book club book and she rated it a seven. We have Masterpiece. We read this aloud um, for our mini beast unit study and we rated it, we both rated it a six. It was good, it wasn't great. Uh, let's see, Love Ruby Lavender, another one of her book club books and she gave it a five. Chocolate Fever, she just read this on her own and it was a 7.5. When You Reach Me, another book club book, um, 7.5 for the rating. Willow Dean, we read this aloud and we both gave it a 10. That was a really good book. If your kids love magical creatures, they'll love it. Uh, let's see. Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, another one of her book club books, and she rated it an 8.5. Wondrous Rex, we read this one aloud as just a fun one um, at nighttime, and it was a 9.5. It is really short. Um, it's like 83 pages. We read it literally in one sitting, but it's really cute. So I will agree with her rating on that one. Uh, let's see. Dragons in a Bag. I actually have both Dragons in a Bag and The Dragon Thief. Um, she read these and gave them both a 9.5. She's actually reading the third one in the series right now, so she obviously likes these. Uh, Juliet and the Diamond of Enigma. This was another book club book, and she gave it a 7. The Wednesday Wars book club that she gave an 8. Elijah of Buxton was a book club book, and she gave it a five. Not because it was a bad book. I just happened to know that this one had um, some slavery, which is sad. Emily doesn't like sad. It's also historical, which isn't is always hit or miss for her. So it's not because it's a bad book. Um, let's see. Otter, which was a book club book, but we actually did read this aloud because it was poetry, and I wanted to read um, a book in poetic form because I've never read one before. So it was a 10 for her and a 9 for me. The Inquisitor's Tale, which was a book club book for her, so it was a 10. Let's see. Emmy and the Kia Code, which was another book club book. This one she gave an 8. The Crossover, uh, we actually read this aloud because the Disney series was coming out and we wanted to watch it, but book before movie always. Um, she gave it an eight, I gave it an 8.5. Song for a Whale, this was a read aloud. She gave it an 8.5 and so did I. Um, the only 
reason that she gave it an 8.5 was because she was sad for the whale because the whale is kind of a solitary solo whale and nobody else understands it. Again, Emily doesn't like sad. The reason I give it an 8.5, because the book is great. The reason I give it an 8.5 is because the main character in the book um, kind of deceives her parents um, and kind of does, she goes with her grandparents, so she's technically safe, but she leaves without telling them and she deceives her parents. And I, I don't love that. Um, I mean, it was part of the storyline, but I didn't love that part of it. Okay. Wings of Fire. This was a book club book for Emily. She gave it a nine. The Secret Wild. Uh, this is one of the ones that we read during our booking game, and we both gave it an 8.5. Escape from a Video Game. Emily actually has read this entire series. I don't know where the other books are. I can't find them. There's four in the series. She gave them all an 8.5. She said the only reason they don't get a 10 is because she kept dying. <laughs> because it's like an escape book. Anyway, that has nothing to do with the book. The book itself is great. Um, okay, let's see. Amari and the Knight Brothers and Amari and the Great Game. Um, she read these. Actually, this was a book club book year before last, not this year. Um, and then when this book released this year, she said she had to reread the first one because she couldn't remember because it had been a year. So she reread both of them herself this year and gave them both a 10. She really, really likes Amari. And then I only pulled one of them, uh, Percy Jackson. We did actually read Percy Jackson and the Olympians the entire series as part of our Greek mythology. Um, and we both, we read them aloud. We both gave them 10s across the boards. We really, really loved the series. But in all fairness, we had read it before we started the Greek mythology um, unit study and we love them. And that's why we wrote that unit study based around them. So we read them already knowing we were going to love them. And then I have two books that I don't have because I think one of them is loaned out and the other one I literally can't find, which is crazy because it was one of Emily's favorite. So I'm going to put a picture over here so you can see it. But one is Stella, which we read during our booking game. Uh, we read it aloud. We both gave it a nine. Um, again, there was a little bit of uh, sadness for Emily, which she didn't love. Um, and I just really liked the story, but it made her so sad a couple of times that she cried. Therefore, I don't love that it made my child cry. But the, the book itself was amazing. And in the end, um, she was like, that was a really good book and I'm glad we read it. So you may want to pre-read it if you have a sensitive kid. And then the other one is The Simple Art of Flying which we both gave an 8.5. We read that one aloud during our booking game too. Um, it was a great book. Um, really, there was a few times that there was a little bit of sadness that came up for Emily and that's why she didn't give it a 10. Um, for me, it was just a great book, but it wasn't a 10 book. So there you have it. That is our book reviews and ratings for the majority of the books that she read her fifth grade year. I will leave a link in the description to an Amazon idea list that I actually maintain of everything that Emily is reading. So if you would like to get the links to these or see a more up-to-date list um, of what she is reading or what she's read in a couple years past, I think I have about three years worth of books on that list. You can check that out. Um, and I told you I would tell you her very top three. So these are the ones that she wrote stars next to. Technically, it's four. She tried to get one over on us. But she wrote stars next to them, um, and she recommends that everybody reads them. So the first one was the Amari series. She wrote stars on both of these, but she said it only counted as one because it's one series. So obviously, you would want to start with the first one, which would be Amari and the Knight Brothers. That was her very, very top. Absolutely everybody should read this book. Her number two, which actually surprised me because it's not one I expected her to really, really love. Um, number one, based off of the size of it, she can kind of get intimidated by large books. Um, and number two, because it's set um, in medieval times and she's not normally somebody who loves things set in kind of historic like history. She likes more, um, like I said, fantasy, futuristic type of things. But she loved this book. Like when they did the book club reviews, this was like, there was a, an interview thing that Mary gave them. And it was like your favorite book, the book you would recommend to everybody. Um, the book you wish had a sequel three of like the five categories, this one, one. So Inquisitor's Tale. 
And then number three was Willow Dean. Uh, this is a quick read. It's a little bit a little bit thinner than the other ones that she recommended. So if you're just looking for something quick this summer, um, it might be that you want to check out Willow Dean. Or if your kids are a little bit younger, you might want to check out Willow Dean. I would say these are probably definitely for, you know, 10 years old and up. Now, I love it if you would give me maybe your top three books. So leave them down in the comments. Tell me maybe each of your kids' favorite and your favorite or just the top three books that you guys read aloud this past year. I am always looking for great books to add to our reading list.